Hey, Hi. how are you? <laughs> that voice right now. Yeah, it's hurting. Wow, radio voice. Uh, great draw. I think is as good as we could ask for. We're happy to be in the tournament. Um, happy to be only one time zone away. Happy to have a direct flight into Salt Lake, and then and he's pretty easy drive to Provo. So all those things are real nice for us. Um, Kennesaw State's a very good team, very good team. Not a lot of people know about them. I've been following them all year, and I like the way they play. And um, their coach does a really good job, and uh, they're well prepared and they fight hard. So it's going to be a great match. So looking forward to it. What makes their defense so good? Obviously, not a ton of height on the team, but they have really stifled a bunch of offenses. Yeah, I think they're really disciplined, um, and they f they fight hard. Um, they go for everything. Um, I think they're they're a pretty old team, um, pretty veteran group, and uh, I think they believe in themselves. They've won a lot of ball games this year, um, so they think they can beat anybody, and they're very good. What do you think the difference is on having all your players with some experience in NC2A play versus their lack of experience in it? Yeah, no, I mean, I think, it, I think it's a plus for us. I mean, we've been there. Um, we know what it's going to be like. So I think just um, not having the unknown, you know, because we've been there, I think, I think is a big plus for us. Um, and then I think we, we know what to expect. We know what the level is going to be like. We know that um, everything is going to be very difficult and we're going to have to earn every point. Nothing's going to be given to you, So I, um, which our conference helps set us up for. Um, so I think we'll be prepared from, from that, from a mindset standpoint. So. You didn't shy away from some pretty big big picture goals for this season. Yeah. Given the way you finished the year the last few weeks, did you reevaluate those? Or did you still go in thinking about the ultimate prize? Oh no, we're we're going for it, you know, and that's the only way you can do it. Um, so I, I I really like the way we ended the year with Oregon State. Oregon State I thought played really hard, really great um, at their place. It was a fun environment, and um, they're a very tough team. Um, so it was a really good win for us. I like the way we responded after set two, especially. Um, I thought Lindsey Vanderweide was amazing after set two and really um, changed the game for us. And, um, and same with Maggie Scott. So I think if we can um, hold on to those things and push and continue to grow, then we can go on a run and be, and, uh, be playing for a little bit longer. How do you balance preparing for Kennesaw State and understanding that the next day you could play one of two different teams? Yeah, I mean, for us, it's Kennesaw State. Um, and that's, that's the way we look at it. And if we're fortunate enough to get past them, then we'll look at whoever's after that. Um, so we have film on everybody, but I'm not looking at anybody until after if we get past Kennesaw. They're, they're a very good team, and I think um, people are going to take notice to them after this match. Um, I, don't, I don't think they've been seen very much, um, but people are going to like the way they play. Do you have any concern about your team then not having that, that level of respect? No, we just did video. Well, I mean, they it's been about us for quite a while. So um, I think from, from their mindset, it's, it's tournament time. I mean, you know you're only getting great teams. Um, all year we've only played great teams, so it's just a continuation of our season. Um, and we've really been just focused on us and, and playing our best ball. Um, there's so many things for us that we need to control um, in order to be successful. So um, I think, no, we're still in our, in our mindset of um, us doing the jobs that we need to do to be successful. So I like, I like where we're at, and I, we're really excited. Um, to continue to play, and um, and we feel much better after after our Oregon State match, much more confident. Kennesaw like anybody you've played, or are they really different? Or I think they're very similar to Oregon State, um, even size wise. I think they're pretty similar. Um, just scrappy defense, good ball control, um, aggressive serving team, aggressive blocking team. Um, they have a couple really nice hitters like Oregon State. Um, so I think it's a very similar matchup, and they do a lot of things um, offensively and defensively that are very similar to Oregon State. So. Um, it's probably good because we're just in that mindset where I felt like in uh, video a lot of kept saying similar to what we did last week, you know, that kind of thing. So, um, you know, and we know how tough of a match that was. So we're expecting the same type of match. You said consistency has been kind of an issue throughout the past couple um, weeks. How do you plan to tackle that in the tournament? Oh, I've been trying to tackle that all year. So since I got the job, so uh, just keep doing what we're doing. And um, I think the big me, uh, my big point in between sets two or three at Oregon State was, it's go time, you know. It's like this. This is it right here for you guys. So it's time to snap out of some things that, whatever uh, your insecurities are or whatever's holding you back, it's time to drop those because this, this is your last chance, you know. Um, and I think something clicked for a couple people, and I hope it, it stays with them. And now we're just really excited, and we're just going to keep keep hustling. I thought um, the Oregon State match was the hardest we fought since Nebraska opening weekend. Um, we were going for balls that we hadn't even been going for, and we were getting them and winning the points. So, I mean, it was a lot of really great things for us, um, and I'm hoping they carry over. What's Willow Johnson's status heading into the tournament? Yeah, so Willow, um, Willow's left shoulder was really bothering her. Um,
probably about three weeks ago. Um, and so I was just trying to limit her. And then, I don't know, I guess I took a risk. Um, and, you know, we lost those games. Would we have won them with her in? I don't know. Um, but it was something where I, it happened last year also. Um, but I, so I tried to give her rest early on and see if we could get her back. And I thought she was really good for us this past weekend. And she just adds a whole different dynamic to our team that, that we need and is important. So she feels pretty good. So that's what I care about. And so hopefully she's locked and loaded and ready to get after it this weekend. And if she can play, are you planning to keep Jolie on the right side and Taylor in that outside hitter? Yeah, I mean, I think that's been a good lineup change for us. I just think the flow is better. I think our serve receive is better. Um, Taylor and the serve receive gives us more options. Um, which I think is important for us. And uh, it's not that Jolie can't play outside. It's just Jolie's block on the right has been very solid for us. And um, she can run some different crossing patterns and she can do some different things. So the bummer is we lose her serve and she's got a really great serve, but we gain Taylor's serve, which is really good too. So um, yeah, no, I think it's, it's good for us and it gives Jolie less things to focus on and she's doing those things well. She had some really big points for us against Oregon State. So. So you're pretty solid health-wise then going into this? Yeah, I think we got everybody we're going to have, and, uh, and I think we're feeling good. So it's a fun time of year.